News will focus on the latest and greatest stories from Venice. Now to you, Joey. The first story begins right after Shylock's servant decides to leave them and work with Sanyo. Worst things happen to the old man. His beautiful daughter Jessica finally puts her scheme into action. She lives with Antonio's good friend, Lorenzo. They escape from the streets were filled up a couple of nights ago with tons of people. And Jessica dressed up as a page. <laughs> Very interesting story. Yes, this sounds, is, sounds intense. It is a notable act of love. <clears throat> Jessica is willing to risk her life, throw away her religion, and betray her father just to be with Lorenzo. Whew. I know, right? Well, also in the news tonight, we have... The last few days have been quite rough at sea. The weather has been destroying many merchant ships with precious cargo on them. One of the victims of this terrible weather is Antonio. He's been waiting on his ships to come in for days now, and all his fortunes are on the ship, and they have yet to be seen. That is terrible. This is quite a loss. Hark! I'm getting something. Breaking news! There's a court case going on right now about Antonio borrowing 3,000 ducats from Shylock. If he didn't pay him back on today, then he would be take Shylock's going to take a pound of flesh. That's all we know for right now. Our camera crews are on the way, but we'll keep you viewers informed. With the Venetian weather. There was a storm just going on here, accumulated in this area of the world. It's Storm Curly Buck. It's starting here, and as you can see in our larger map, it's accumulated in this area, and it's now it's now made its way through this area, and <laughs> it's it's somewhere around Venice. Uh, we'll zoom into Venice right here, and as you can see the Adriatic Sea. Uh, Storm Curly Buck has really destroyed um, all of the <laughs> the seas, and <laughs> Antonio's ship is so wrecked. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're so gone. So that's it for your weather. Be Our camera crew have just arrived at the scene in the courtroom. Let's take a look at what's going on inside. Is your name Shylock? Shylock is my name. Of a strange nature is the suit you follow. Yet it is such rule that the Venetian law cannot deny you the suit you proceed. You stand within his power, do you not? I certainly so. Do you confess the bond? I do. This is all the footage we've got so far. Our cameras were shoved out right as the lawyer was giving his final terms of the bond. Alas! I'm giving word we got back in. Let's check out how the courtroom ends. I pray you give me leave to go from hence. Okay? I will send a deed after me. I will send Get your gun then. Let's do it. Court is missed. I'm here with Shylock, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what happened in the courtroom today. Can you tell us, how do you feel about the outcome, and were you shown mercy? No, I was not shown mercy. I'd rather die a Jew than live life. A Christian with half of my belongings. That's pretty tough. Uh, will you ever forgive Jessica? And do you think you can love her again? Forgive? No, I never forgive. She betrays. She takes half of what I have and love her. No, she she converts and she throw away her religion and. Sorry, he's very upset. But that's what Charlotte can tell us. We'll go back to you guys. <laughs>
We're here with the lawyer from the court. <clears throat> now, tell us, did you offer Shylock mercy? Yes, yes, I did offer Shylock mercy. I gave him the choice to take the pound of flesh or to uh, take more than the amount of ducats that he would have been repaid by Antonio. And what did he choose? He chose to take the pound of flesh, but I caught him with some catches in the bond, <laughs> and I said he could not take more or less, or he would have to forfeit, and if he spilled a drop of Christian blood, then he would have to die. Thank you. We're here with Antonio, and I'm going to ask him a couple of questions. Now, do you wish you would have paid the bond sooner? Yes, I do. I wish I would have, because all of this happened. Okay. And are you happy with the outcome? I'm happy that I got off the hook, but I feel bad for Shylock because he is in such misery. There you have it. Well, lads and lasses, that concludes our broadcast. Good morrow to ye, and from all of us here at Venice News Studio, God save you! One, two, three, merchant in a minute. Tony's sad, don't know why. Bassanio to give a try. Mary Portia, while it's dry. Loan from Tony, what a guy. Portia thinks suitors lame, but they have to play a game. Pick a casket, not the same. Get it wrong, go home in shame. Begging Shylock, he's the Jew. Borrow from him credit use. If his ships don't come through, Rip pound of flesh will have to do. Rip Lancelot leaves master's house. Jessica wants a spouse. Two suitors choose wrong. Bassanio comes along. Portia wants a real hunk. Tony's ships all sunk. Bassanio picks a right trunk. Here's that Tony's in a funk. Owes money to the Jew. Pound of flesh near his poop. Lawyer, female, not a Jew. Portia smart, Jew gets screwed. Men lose rings, starts a feud. Women lawyers, who knew? Tony's rich again too. Happy ending, not for Jews. Well, folks, that concludes our broadcast. Have a great night, and from all of us here at Venice News Studio. <laughs> <laughs> City of the world. As you can see on our larger maps. It's somewhere around this area, but we have now figured out that the storm is... What storm is it? Storm Corelli Buck. Push it.